I started to work in the free store last summer, I contacted Valentine and asked her about it. And at that point, the room was just full of those huge white bags. And so, I mean, I don't think there was even a space to really go inside the room. It was just bags. So it was just mainly stepping over all the stuff. And I, so I started working in there about once a week and unpacking everything and putting things out on the tack board, excuse me, outside. And it took a long time, but I, that was basically what I did. And I still go in there once in a while. And well, I do go in there at least once a week now, like I, I mentioned before. And I put everything that I can fit outside on the display. And I, you know, just kind of play with color schemes or holidays or, you know, what's going on. Like when it was spring, I, you know, put different things out like bathing suits or whatever. When we had nice days, I'd put nicer clothes, like, or not nicer clothes, but um, when we had nice days, I would put summery things out. And then when it was extremely cold, I found all the winter stuff and put that all out. So, and all of that stuff pretty much disappeared. There have been some things that are not donatable that are in there. So I do my best to make sure they're properly recycled. We have a recycling center where I'm at here in Egan, just down the road from my house. So I've taken things there. DSW, the shoe store also takes old shoes and recycles them. And then there's also a community re shoe recycling event here um, through my community that where they will, if, if it's really unwearable, they'll just take the shoes apart and do what they can to recycle them. Over the course of the year, there were two charities that I worked with. One was through my daughter's daycare and they needed very specific things for homeless people in the community. So I went through there and grabbed some stuff for them. And again, I could talk to Valentine about that and she was completely fine with it. And then I had somebody come on campus with me once and the same thing it was just an effort to move some of the clothes out of there again for homeless people in the St. Paul community. And I didn't know this, but apparently there's some homeless liaison officers within the police department that when it's really, really cold, we'll go and check on people in homeless encampments and offer them some supplies and everything. And, and this, the second charity that was through a local church. So in addition to some of the homeless outreach, I think some people within the community, whether or not they were in the parish were, would also be uh, recipients of some of this stuff or people transitioning from homelessness to having a home. And I just, I found it so much more practical to, for example, when I'm making quilts, well, instead of going out and buying a new fabric that's been dyed and everything, why not just use something that someone else doesn't want? It's like they're torn jeans. It's a win-win. They get rid of it. I get fabric and then I get the joy of making something out of it. And then the added joy of giving it away or selling it. So really, it just seems logical. It just felt practical. It's called Clean the World Foundation. And my husband actually told me about it because they, I think they do something super cool. They take old shampoos and soaps from hotels because, you know, when you go stay at a hotel, you use your little soap and then you leave it there and someone comes and cleans it and throws it away. I used to be that person. That was one of my jobs growing up. I worked at a motel um, in my hometown and I was always, even as a child or young, well, young woman, I should say, I was like 13, 14. I can't remember, but I was so grossed out by the amount of soap and waste because people would stay there for one night. They'd open their soap, they'd use it once and I'd have to throw so much soap away. So a couple years ago, my husband told me about this organization and it was in the news and I just thought it was so cool that they take it and they somehow melt it and sterilize it and just make new soap. And they have a couple locations in the city, or excuse me, in the United States. I think DC, Las Vegas, and I believe Orlando. And so I've always really wanted to go and help them. But there's a, another really nice company called United by Blue that I follow and work with. Oh, well, not work with. Um, once in a while, I'll order something from them. They are really big into recycling and reuse. And um, I got enough credit card points several years ago I think I converted it into $80 or something. And I got one of their backpacks that was made entirely from recycled water bottles. And I was watching how they make them. And it was so fascinating how they melt all the plastic and then spin it into thread. And it was just really cool. So that was really fun. And they have an event called Blue Friday, which is on Black Friday. And 
what it is is just kind of a like a social media movement to go pick up trash on Black Friday instead of shopping. So I that's kind of how I started getting back into the whole oh I'm going to go pick up trash in my spare time. And then they also have organized organized sponsored all over the United States community cleanups. Usually by a body of water, but doesn't always have to be. So I really enjoyed I enjoy them too. They